We are at Pauley Pavilion on the campus of UCLA in Los Angeles, California. Pauley Pavilion, which practically reeks with memories of great basketball. Good evening. I'm Ray Scott, Joe Butita by my side. I'm doing a little guessing. What will be the mood of this UCLA basketball team? A superior effort, although a losing one against Washington, playing a team that upset them at Eugene, and the coach has been under some fire. What, what do you expect tonight? <laughs> He's been in the frying pan. Ray, I think this team has wound very tightly, but I think it'll be to their benefit, not to their detriment, because I think that they're ready to explode. It's been a very uh, distracting week for the UCLA basketball team, not to mention Larry Farmer, who's put up with all kinds of criticism on whether he can motivate the players, uh, whether he can get them uh, well enough to play. I think he can. I think he will. I think the guys are ready to play. They held a players' meeting yesterday. They kept Farmer out of it and called in a reporter from the L.A. Times and, and vented their frustrations to her. We'll talk about that later. But they are sincerely behind Larry Farmer. They want him to stick around and be around next year because there is some rumor that he will be fired. Now there was an unbelievable from behind the basket bucket by Oregon's Greg Trapp. It came at the buzzer. It tied the Ducks game with UCLA at the end of regulation play at 74. Then in overtime, the Ducks outscored the Bruins. 13 to 9 beat UCLA for the second time this year. Final score in OT was 87-83. UCLA is now 6 and 3 in the Pac-10. Washington won tonight, so they're not having problems. Here is Kenny Fields on the steal and the jam. He had 25 points. UCLA led by four at the half. Ralph Jackson had a pass stolen by Gary Gatewood, and he slammed it near the half. Now UCLA came out running in the second half, and they seem to be getting all the good bounces. Kenny Fields scores after the rebound here. And when Gary Melanson scores on pass from Fields, the Bruins lead by 11 points. But the Ducks don't fold. Led by center Blair Rasmussen, they pulled to within striking distance in the closing seconds. He's a freshman in a very tight ball game. They lead by one. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll grow up a little bit tonight. We'll see in just a second. Eight seconds left. Turn your head away from the television set. Big sigh of relief for Montel. Now this is the big one here. So it's the Bruins by two, and Don Monson dies just a little bit. Look what they've done on the night, though, as a team. 12 of 14. No. Two-point lead, six seconds left. This is Gatewood. No. One second. It went through. It went in. It's it good. counts. It's it good. counts. That basket counted. That was literally thrown. Larry Farmer is questioning whether it was good. One of the officials now is over talking with the timer. But the one official definitely signaled that it did count. Now we'll see. I didn't even notice who threw it. Was a trap who threw it up? I didn't see, but I knew the ball was going in. It had great trajectory. Now here's a replay now coming up. Take a look. One second to go on the clock. And here's a shot by Gatewood. It goes off the rim. And it's Trap who gets it with he one saved second. It. And he was, it. It was literally in the air beyond the out of bounds. <laughs> Amazing. That'll be on somebody's highlight film. Here it is again. Long shot, long rebound. Trap gets it, stays inbound, and throws it at the basket, and it goes in. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Holy Amazing. Well, he was actually, I think I'm correct in saying this, Joe, as I looked at it, he was actually behind the backboard. Oh, yeah. It went over the corner of the backboard. You remember the shot last year that SC made? In overtime, Kenny Fields here makes it 76-74 Bruins, but they could not recover from that incredible shot. Here, David Brantley rattles one in, 80-78 Oregon, 80-80 by Melanson there. Then goaltending is called on Stuart Gray here on a Brantley drive, 82-80 Oregon, and they went on to beat UCLA in overtime, 87-83. Do you think you're doing a good job here at UCLA? Yes, I think I am. I'm doing the best job that I possibly can. And I think uh, the bottom line, of course, is going to be at the end of the season when you look back at, at our record and see exactly what we've done. And I certainly don't think right now, being right in the middle of the, of the Pac-10 season, and, you know, right in the thick of things, is the time to start saying, well, I don't think the coach is doing what he should be doing. I think that you, you reserve that judgment till the end of the season. It's just